Hey guys, how's it going? I want to do a quick rant video and just share some things that are on my mind with you. And it has to do with some changes in some uh, internet services over the past six months or the past year that have been uh, kind of big changes for me. And uh, basically what the, some of the video is going to be about is because uh, this might go on for a little while and I'll just get to the point for some of you. It's about my website. And I have this uh, email from HostGator saying that they've restricted part of my website because there's too many resources running in the background or whatever. I have the cheapest plan that they have, like a shared uh, server. And, that, you know, I don't know anything about all this stuff. It's always been learned from experience by me, from me. And um, so it's been quite a journey. And you know, I kind of want to talk about the journey with my website a little bit, too. But anyways, uh, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet with the website. I have some options, and, you know, in a way it's not really a big deal, but it's kind of sad at the same time. And, you know, it makes me a little depressed, a little angry, but uh, I'm also kind of happy with it and happy about the way things are going. But anyways, I want to share some other changes that's happened recently. One of them not so big was with YouTube when I found out they don't have the video editor anymore. And, you know, I don't stay on top of everything that YouTube does. I just, like, watch videos on there and I just upload it. You know, I'm not somebody who, you know, meticulously tries to get the most views that I can by altering, you know, the tags and everything else. A lot of people do that stuff, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know. I've dabbled with that a little bit, but, you know, I don't even care. You know, I just make videos and I upload them. And, you know, if I don't like them later on, I delete them, even if they had lots of views or whatever. I don't care. It's my channel. I just do what I want to, you know, the way that I always have. And, you know, that's not to say that I don't want to get views or subscribers. But, again, I just, you know, however I feel like uploading stuff, I do it. And uh, that's also been a learn-as-I-go thing. And, but for a while they had a YouTube editor. And you could actually go in there and you could, you know, splice the videos. You could add in videos. You could add your intro and outro and, um... You could add text and stuff. It was very basic, but it was helpful, and I liked it because it didn't take up resources on your computer. They did it all on their server, so you'd set it up the way that you wanted the video edit it, and you know you click edit or whatever, and it would load. It would do it on their website, and when it was done, they would upload it. It was very easy, and you know I've always had a um, like I can't remember. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's like. Sony Movie Studio Platinum or something like that. It's really good video. It's one of the best, one of the best or one of the better video editing programs, at least that was out years ago. But uh, Sony Vegas, I guess, something like that. It's really good, but uh, you know you can do way more with that. It's like limitless, pretty much. Uh, but you know that takes up time you, on the computer. You know. If I make a, a video that's 30 minutes or an hour long, you know, it could be an hour or two just to edit it, to add in the intros and stuff. And so, you know, I make an hour long video and then I take an hour or two for the editing and then, you know, it takes another hour to upload it to YouTube and it could be like an all day process just to make a, you know, a nice video with editing and everything else. And that's why a lot of times I've been doing videos like this because they take like, you know, I record it for however long that it takes like five or ten minutes to upload and it's simple but you know i do like try, trying to dabble into making better videos and i still want to do that in the future but i made you know new intros and outros i was going to use the youtube editor thing and it's gone apparently they said a lot of people didn't use it or whatever so they ditched it so without me knowing that and you know probably a lot of people knew that it was probably gone a long time ago but i didn't so i don't pay attention to everything that's changing and it just takes me by surprise. Not such a huge deal, uh, but the next one, uh, the next three pretty much have to do with the website that I want to talk about. One of them I made a video about, I think, that I got on to log on to my website one day and I couldn't get on there or something. It was, wasn't working. And I found out that they changed the website editor on HostGator. Because I used to use a thing called Weebly Pro Editor, and so a lot of the pages that I made, it kept the forum, but a lot of the pages, or all the pages, were like gone. And it's because they got rid of this Weebly Editor that I used, you know, since I started the website for like a couple of years or so. 
and they came up with their own HostGator editor. And I found out about all that, we got it all situated, and I basically had to start some things from scratch. I made a video about it, but I was really happy about it because the new editor is a lot nicer, and I was able to uh, make it look nicer, I thought, and there was a lot more features and stuff. So I was kind of upset that things changed, and you know, I had to get things figured out, and I had to redo things. But, you know, I overcame that hurdle, and... Uh, that stressed me out, but the next thing I haven't really made a video on, but I wanted to, and it has to do, well, I might have, I don't know, but it's my comment chat, the chat room on the website. You know, I always wanted to have features where people can connect and stuff, and I still do, but I messed around with different chats and stuff, trying to see what was right, what worked the best, and I wanted... The chat room that was accessible on no matter what page on the website you went to, the chat room was there so people could talk together and they could browse the website and stuff at the same time. And so I used a, a chat, I used a few different chats. One was maybe like WeChat or something, or Chat We, and then uh, I used a Rumble Talk, and I used Comet Chat now. Those are the main ones. And I met a lot of people on the website. You know, I haven't been on there lately like I used to be, like I should be, but, um, you know, I made a, I met a lot of brothers and sisters and ones that I still talk to, and I'm very grateful, and I had a lot of fun on these chats, and, you know, I was very active on there trying to get people on there for a while. And when I, when I did uh, the chat we and the Rumble Talk, Rumble Talk costs monthly. And so it was costing every month. And at that time, I didn't even have a steady job. You know, I was living with my mom. I was working for UPS and mowing yards. So I had a little bit of money. And, you know, I had help with some donations. And so I was just, you know, pouring whatever I could into that. It was so much a month, like 30 bucks a month or something. Maybe it was less. And, if, and I wanted to upgrade. I wanted to have something that had, like, video and audio capabilities. And maybe other stuff, other features. And they did have some of that, but it was going to cost even more per month, and it was, like, too much. And I thought, you know, there should be chat rooms that I can use that don't cost monthly. You know, paying monthly on this stuff is kind of like a waste of money at this point, you know, not having very many users and all that stuff, and, you know, I don't have the money for it. So it's just a constant bill that, you know, was always there. And I found Comet Chat, and they were basically, like, you could pay a whole bunch of money up front, like 300 400 500 whatever, and buy their service, and it would be, like, set. And so I did that. I thought it was really great. And they had these other features where you could uh, pay money up front and get, like, a mobile app to where you could access the chat on your phone through an app. And, you know, if somebody sent a message, you would get a notification and stuff like that. And that would be really nice. That would be... An easier way for me to keep in touch with the chat than having to go to the website and they had a, a the same thing for like the desktop on your computer you could download an app and have it running in the background the whole time you know without being on the website it would you know give me a notification when somebody's in there or whatever and I had a lot of fun on comic chat and When I bought it, I guess it gave me like a year's worth of um, updates and support. And after that, you have to renew it. And uh, last year, I was wanting to upgrade to like the, the mobile app and stuff. And that was pretty pricey. It was going to be like 400 500 bucks maybe. But I thought it would be worth it. I thought, you know, you pay this one fee and I have it for years to come or whatever. It's, you know, it would be worth it because, you know, it's going to be very helpful for me to stay in, in touch on the chat and I thought you know around tax time or whatever you know I started working last year and I thought I'm gonna have extra money I can do this I was living with my mom at the time but that's when I moved out and so all my money and, and resources and everything went into moving out and so I said I'm putting that off you know it's not a big deal it was just something I wanted to do and so now this year <coughs> It's coming around, you know, I was thinking about it again. I'm like, I still want to do this. You know, I want to use the chat more. I want to be able to respond to people when they log in, see when they log in. And, you know, I 
I hadn't been messing around with the site a lot. I hadn't been on the chat. And so I went back to Comet Chat to check in on things, to, to check in on the price and everything again. Well, come to find out, now everything on their website's a monthly fee. Uh, everything is. And I'm not even sure how much the how much the chat that I got works for them originally because my support ran out and now you know they're not even gonna help me unless I start paying monthly. So that's kinda cruddy. Um, but yeah, it's it's outrageous prices. If I want to get the mobile app and all that stuff, you know, I don't remember how much it is, but it's probably not much of an exaggeration to say that it would be like a hundred bucks a month. You know, and I'm like that's not going to happen, you know, uh, I'd pay it in bulk, you know, a lot at once, you know, if I had the money at the time to do it, and it'd be worth it, but they don't even have that as an option, now it's just straight up monthly, everything's monthly, you know, you got to have like a subscription, basically, and, you know, it's not worth it for me at this time, and, you know, I don't have the money to do it anyways, but it's sad, um, but not a huge deal. I know there's other chats out there and stuff. I'll have to do a search again when I get around to it and everything and, and figure it out. But it's it's very disappointing when uh, companies are changing their their fees and their services like this. And, you know, they say it's all better now, and you know they it allows a lot more freedom. It allows them to do a lot more and everything. But you know, it's it's not why I went to them in the first place. And then unfortunately now they're just like all the other ones. So, besides that, now I'll talk about this current issue with the website. So, apparently they sent me an email, and you can't go to the kjbforum.com right now. It won't show anything. The forum's, like, completely shut down or something. I think the forum has to do a big major issue with it. Unfortunately, well, look, my website and the forum's kind of like a separate thing, like, on the website and all of its pages and stuff are contained in itself, and I don't even know how to access all that thing, all that stuff in the file manager. Um, so, unfortunately, I've been building a lot of my website, the studies and stuff, on the forum because it's really easy for me to sign in and just work on the posts on the forum, and then I can share the links to people. And uh, I know if people wanted to browse the forum and stuff, it was probably way too confusing. But anyways, I had a lot of studies on there, everything that I was currently working on. I basically copied the entire Bible on there and separated them by pages, by chapters. I also copied, like, the entire Apocrypha, all the Apocryphal books, because I was going to go through and commentate and do studies on all of these, all this stuff. And um, the unfortunate thing here is, if anything, I might lose all that. And I had recent studies that I did that were pretty much completed that I was that I put off, that I procrastinated with, and I didn't make videos on, and I really wanted to, and I was really thinking about recently, you know, going over those and doing them. But now, I don't even know if I'll be able to access them to save them, to even save that information, so that information might just be gone. So, I mean, I don't know what's going to go on with the website. Obviously, I don't want to lose it, and I don't think that I have to lose it. I can keep the URLs, you know, the names, except you be converted.com, and then KJV chat and all that stuff that I got. And I think that I can keep the HostGator plan. If, if worse comes to worse, I can delete all the files. I think I can just start the website totally fresh. I'll just delete the forum in its entirety and lose everything that I did. And, um, you know, I have a lot of studies saved from when I was doing them on the regular website pages in the past. I have a lot of studies saved. I have uh, plenty of books to, to work with and, and no shortage of studies. The only unfortunate thing is just the work that I've already done on there that I lost, that I could lose um, recently. You know, the stuff that I've done on the forum. So, I'm working this weekend. It's the weekend now, and I'm not going to mess with it a lot right now because I don't want to get myself too stressed out. And I'm just going to focus on work and other things that need to get done. Could change. I could mess around with it in the next couple of days or so. But basically, this week, I have some extra time off. And I'm going to try to talk to the host gator support. I'm going to try to follow their instructions here and, and do what I can to try to at least get to the stuff on the forum and save it and then go from there and decide what I'm going to do. You know, my email is hooked up with my website too, and I don't want to lose my main email. 
So it's kind of unfortunate that I could lose a lot of things that I've worked on recently. But I don't think that I have to lose the website and, and everything. Um, and another thing I was going to say is they're saying, well, one option that you can do is that you can upgrade to a dedicated server, and that'll give you plenty of space and everything, and, and this all won't be a problem. But the dedicated servers are outrageous monthly. And, you know, right now I'm paying, like, 10 bucks a month or something like every three months it's like 30 bucks and you know sometimes i've struggled with that recently just because of bills and everything but um the dedicated server it was saying that the cheapest one was going to be like 110 a month and at first i was trying to talk myself into thinking that, that was believable that i could do it you know, I know I'm already struggling with finances, but I was thinking, well, maybe next year I'm going to pick up more yards, I'll make more money, and maybe I can, maybe I can handle a hundred dollars a month for the website, and maybe it'd be really good because, you know, I could handle all the traffic that will come and everything. It shouldn't be a problem for a long time. But I went to look into more detail, and it's only like 110 a month if you pay like the full 12 months or whatever up front. And, and then it's like four thousand, five thousand dollars, and I'm like, that's not gonna happen. I'm like, well, what if I just want to pay month by month? Well, then it's like a hundred and eighty dollars, and so like a hundred and eighty dollars a month is definitely out of the question. You know, a hundred dollars a month for the website is really out of the question. But I was trying to make myself believe that I could do that, but a hundred and eighty, no, that's it's not even worth it. You know, it's just that'd just be wasted money. So. Uh, you know, this is just a small personal project. I doubt it really affects anybody, but I'm, I want it to be more something that people want to use and go to. And it could be a blessing in disguise. You know, when the when the host gator changed their editor from Weebly to their their editor, I thought you know the changes were better, and it was a setback in a way. But then I kind of rebounded and was able to to make it look better, and I realized there's a lot more that I can do. I know the forum is a mess and everything else, and uh, so, you know, I can redo the website and put more time into it, and I can make it a lot better, a lot more user-friendly, you know, usable, a reason for people to visit it. But I'm just upset that I could lose a lot of recent studies. I mean there's a lot of information there that I don't want to lose any of it. And if I can get into it and save it and I can copy it, you know, into Microsoft Word or something, and I'll start doing my studies on Microsoft Word, start doing my commentaries on there, and then uploading them to the website or something. Um, but I don't know. So later this week, I'm going to try to spend the day figuring out. I don't want to spend a lot of time. And like I said, if the best thing for me to do is just to wipe it out, just to keep the website, because there's probably some kind of a plug-in or something that's on the forum that's running these processes in the background that are unnecessary and it's just continually doing this stuff, taking up space. And, you know, if I can find that stuff and stop it and delete it, if it's not important, if I don't need it, if, if I can do that, then that's good. I'll probably, you know, even if I can figure out a way to where I can use the forum, I'm probably going to erase it all anyways. But I just want to get the information from there that I've recently done. So... You know, I can try to update you guys on this situation. I could use your prayers. It's kind of weird because it really depresses me. It makes me angry. But at the same time, you know, I'm just looking at all the good things. I've been really blessed this year. I have my own place. And it's getting time for me to work for UPS soon. I'm really happy about that. I love the fall. We're in the fall now. and So I'm kind of really in a good mood at the same time. And, you know, who knows what changes will happen in the future with YouTube and everything, if my channel will be deleted or if they'll just start making everybody pay to use them or whatever else. You know, there's just these constant changes. And, and I'm sick of all this Internet censorship that, you know, conservatives and stuff are being censored. And uh, not only is it an attack on free speech, but just the double standards with them, how they'll censor somebody who's, you know, they say that, that they have hate speech or something, but then there can be, you know, music videos with, with rap or rock or whatever that are, you know, hateful lyrics. There can be, you know, movies and, and videos on YouTube, you know, that are about murder and everything else. And it's just the double standards that make me sick, you know, for these people. So, whatever. But yeah, it, 
You know, there's changes for the good, there's changes for the bad. But I've had a lot of hurdles with the website. You know, when I very first, I was talking about how I want to do a little bit of history of the website. I mean, when I very first started, started it's, it's changed its look a lot, obviously. But I remember when I first, my website got hacked because I didn't even know that I needed, like, security. And I thought I was going to lose everything. And um, at that time, you know, again, I wasn't really working. And some people donated and helped me, and I got site lock, and I started, you know, having security. And, you know, I still get help because sometimes, you know, I, I can't make the bill, but I, I need to get on top of those things. But, so it's just been a process of, of continual changes on HostGator. Policies and me trying to keep up and not lose what I've done and, and restarting and restarting and restarting. It's just a labor of love. It's just a personal thing for me, anyways. But uh, I want it to be more, and I don't know what this is going to entail. But I mean, probably everything is probably going to get wiped out. But I'm just I'm hoping that I can get the what I have on there. So I don't want to rant anymore. Thank you guys. God bless.